Hi everyone, it's Laurel. I thought I would make a video showing you how I made this card, which I made for the Simon Says Stamp Wednesday Challenge, and the theme is Thanks or Thanksgiving. So I chose to make a thank you card using some fall color distress inks. That is Nina Desert Storm cardstock, and I'm going to be using the Vertical Arrows background stamp from Simon Says Stamp, and I love it. We're going to be heat embossing, so I'm inking that up with some Versamark ink. It's just a real great sticky ink. It's great for heat embossing. And I find that I pressing my paper into the stamped image works best for me. And that's what I'm doing here. And when you peel it up, you'll get this great uh, image. It's just so pretty. Now with, with Versamark ink, you don't have to heat emboss. I can leave it just like that and let it dry on its own, and you'll really get that pretty tone-on-tone -tone look. But I want to do some distress inking here. So I'm going to use some clear embossing powder here. That's a bunch of Hero Arts embossing powder that I dumped into a, a Tupperware uh, container there. I use clear a lot, so that's the only one I have in a Tupperware like that. And I went off and heat embossed it off to the side. You guys didn't want to see that. That's boring. I do recommend the Milwaukee heat gun, by the way. I've used quite a few, and that is the best. It heats up quick, and it's got that precision point, so it really is a great heat tool. I wanted to show you how I store my little foam pads there. I added some Velcro to the back of the Distress Ink pads, and then I stick the little blending tools to the back. I store my Distress Inks in drawers, so I find that that works great for me. So here I'm adding some Seedless Preserves and some Ripe Persimmon Distress Inks. They're from the Seasonal Pack. And uh, I'm going in light. I always go in light, and then if I want to darken, I'll darken it up later, because uh, you can't do the opposite. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Uh, so anyway, so I've got my, oh, I'm sorry, that's festive berries, not ripe persimmons. Shame, 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 Laurel. So that's festive berries and seedless preserves, by the way. So I've gone in and darkened it all up, and, and uh, now I'm just taking a wet wipe and wiping away the excess, and then you get this great image. And using the wet wipe also kind of blends the colors together a little bit, too. And now I'm going to be stamping this, gosh, what's it called, scalloped flower, maybe? All my supplies will be linked on the blog. But I'm going to be um, heat embossing this as well, so I'm stamping that with some Versamark, and I'm going to, again, use some clear embossing powder, and then I'm going to heat set that, and then we're going to do some more distress coloring. You guys know I love my distress inks. So this time I'm going to use these fingertip sponge dauber thingies, whatever they're called. I'm sure they have a technical name. But I like them for when I'm trying to get into small areas, so they work really great. And this time I'm going to be breaking out the right persimmons and the festive berries. I knew I used that somewhere on this card. So I'm going around the edges with the red, the festive berries, and again, I'm starting off light because I don't know how dark I'm gonna get that center. And I am I just love these fingertip thingies, by the way. They're great. And uh, I went ahead and added that to the center, and now I'm going around the edges and I'm darkening up the festive berries there. Now on this particular card, I'm gonna do the water flicking technique I like so much. Um, I didn't do it on the other card for the challenge, but I thought I'd kind of change it up just a little bit. So I'm getting my mini mister, and you can use a paintbrush if you don't like to get your fingers wet, but I don't care. So I just spritzed it on my fingers and then flicked it down. And then you'll see how quickly the Distress Inks react to that water. It's so pretty. You can use Perfect Pearls, too, if you want to shine. Now that's a strip of paper I pulled right up out of the garbage can, and I wanted it to match, of course. So I'm going to be using the Ripe Persimmons uh, Distress Ink Pad again, and I'm just going to smear it all over that card strip there. And now here's something really cool. We're going to stamp with water right onto that card strip. That is Impressions Obsessions Honeycomb stamp, and I love it. I love their stamps, by the way. And I'm just going to spritz it pretty heavily with water. I want to make sure it's pretty wet. And then I'm going to take that strip there that we created with the Right Persimmons Distress Ink, and I'm going to press right into the stamp. And you'll see the water kind of bleeding through the back. And when I pull it up, it is so pretty. You get this awesome look just from putting some water on a stamp. It's so cool. Now we're going to go ahead and assemble the card. See, this card really didn't take too long to make. Going to adhere that strip down to my card base. I do love my Glue Glider Pro. The ATG gun is just a little bit too big for me to handle. And I'm going to trim off the excess there. Snip, snip, snip. And then we're going to figure out what sentiment to use. I'm going to use something a little different from the last card. So I'm going to pull out the Simon Says Stamp From Us stamp set. It's a really fun stamp set when you're doing sentiments from more than one person. So this, this I can use all the time. 
So I'm going to stamp this out. It says from all of us using some VersaFine black ink. And then I'm going to be using lots of these foam dimensions. These are from Best Creations. They're fantastic. And you get a whole bunch on a strip. And um, they're under two bucks. So I don't feel bad about using so many on one little image. Then we're almost done. You're going to round the corners here with your corner chomper. I think I used the one quarter inch round cut. And we're done. That's it. It's so much fun. And it really doesn't take that long to make. So here's a close-up of the card that I made today. Thank you guys so much for watching.